going to try to keep the podcast light uh, despite, the, despite all that fucking just horrible shit that happened down in Charlottesville. It's just fucking... Fuck, I don't know. I don't want to go. I, I did hear one fucking funny thing about it. I mentioned... I'm going to say who I mentioned it to. I mentioned it to somebody else. I go, Jesus Christ, dude, can you fucking believe that shit down there in Charlottesville? And the guy goes... He goes, no, what happened? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that is like... I don't, I don't know how you missed it, but, I mean, there literally is that much information coming out at you that you could miss all that shit that went down there. And, uh, I mean, I don't even need to comment on what the fuck went on down there if you're any sort of a human being. Uh, you know, that dude in that fucking car, I swear to God, like, I'm trying to think of a proper punishment for that guy, and I, I can't think, nothing is, like, enough to fucking drive, just do that, you know. You know what's funny about that guy? As I bet that guy has talked about ISIS and how cowardly terrorism is, and then he gets in a car and does what the fuck he did. It's just like, it's I, I don't know. I, there must have been, I mean, obviously, beyond joining that fucking group, there's something wrong with that guy mentally. Um, anyways... Um, See, that's why I didn't want to bring it up. Where do you go from there? And then fucking Trump, I'm done with that guy. The guy's just no longer funny or anything. He's, uh, I'm just done with that fucking guy. The fact that he wouldn't just straight up denounce it, the fact that he's going to go, oh, you know, there's hatred on both sides, hatred on both sides. He's doing like that, you know, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Uh, slavery. Slavery came first, you fucking dope. It's, it's documented. It's just so, fu- like... He's been catering to that racist fan base because he needed their votes. I'm not saying everybody who voted for Trump is racist, but, like, for that fucking guy to do that, it's absolutely fucking reprehensible. It's sickening. Fucking sickening, okay? And I'm not a fucking, you know, I'm not one of these guys that thought the sky was falling because this guy got in the office, you know? Everybody freaking the fuck out, like, what the fuck was going to happen? But I will just say his track record on the Klan, you know, to be just not even commenting on it and being. Do you know if I was doing stand up and people in the Klan started showing up, you, I, I would be looking. What the fuck am I saying that's making these people be like, oh, yeah, <laughs> this guy approves of what we do. At the very least, I'd be like, hey, not for nothing. You guys over there with the hoods on, I fucking, you know, I'm not down with you guys. I fucking can't see you morons. You're fucking morons. And he never does it. Never does it. You know? And I think he was just trying to make a joke with the cops about the don't push their heads. But just all the shit that you've seen, that, that all that police brutality that's been going on, to make that fucking joke. The guy, it's unbelievable. And now I'm hearing, like... This is what, I'm not even going to name fucking names, but like all these, you know, it's like fucking Taylor Swift now is going to run for Senate. People, we can't go down this fucking road. At the very least, can we at least stick with career fucking politicians? Can we at least do that? Can we, you know? Would you, would you want, like, you want me to be your fucking accountant? You want a comedian to be an accountant? Why would you want an actor or a musician or fucking God knows what else. I, I, I just, I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck we're doing now. I just, I don't even know what the fuck we're doing. So, um, anyways, that happened. And, uh, you know, fortunately, it wasn't a big rally. You know? The Nazis are still a little, little mom and pop fucking group. Which, you know, that's about the only good thing that I took away from it. But, uh, I don't know. You know what's fucked up about the whole thing, though? As I said, I wasn't going to talk about it. Is uh, when people started texting me like, dude, you watching this shit. So I go online, you know, to watch a video of the rally and all the bullshit to see what's going on. And I go on and when I click on it, I immediately see Bobby Flay and he's selling me something from Lipton Ice Tea. <laughs> so what's so fucked up? Is uh, 
And I think it was actually, it was actually on the Huffington Post, and I fucking hate those guys. You know, and they're all liberal as hell. Can you fucking believe this? It's like, dude, you're making money off of it. You're making money off of it. So there's something you would think on just something like this is so reprehensible. We shouldn't even put a fucking ad in front of it. Other than that, I understand you got to make your money. I have advertising on my fucking podcast. But there was just something fucked up like this is the most horrible blah, 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 whatever the fuck they have as a headline. And then you click it on and there's this fucking Bobby Flay selling me fucking iced tea. <laughs> But, you know, that's how the game's played, I guess. Anyway, so let's get the fuck out of that, all right? Uh, boo Nazis. Uh, boo Donald Trump. Being a fucking pussy. That guy's such a fucking pussy. I'm so sick of him and that fucking guy from North Korea acting like they're tough guys. Acting like they're tough. You know what I mean? You know what? They should, you know, they should, they should fight the fucking undercard on uh, McGregor Mayweather, all right? Why don't you guys settle your fucking beef? I'd love to see the two of them put on fucking the whole fucking get up, the boxing shorts, the mouth guard, the gloves, the boots, and go out there and you just really see what a couple of pansies, you know, that fatty Donald Trump with his fucking wig flopping around. It'd probably be one of the fun, it'd be funnier than all the stand up specials that came out this year combined. It would have been tremendous. Like, that's, that's the way, I think that that's the way they should solve it world problems although you know what's his face is like a black belt in judo vladimir putin that fucking that dude looks like a bad guy in like you know those spy movies right all right i'm in over my head why do i try to talk politics because that's what everybody's fucking talking about and asking me about i guess oh by the way another thing too you know what i don't would like about trump supporters is when they compartmentalize that racist shit when they go like you know hey i i that stuff where he doesn't condone you know, he doesn't uh, 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 chastise the Klansmen, that not neo-Nazis that like him. I don't like that. I don't like that part. But I'll tell you, I think the way he's handling been, been Hillary, you know, well, I can't fucking stand either. But at some point, you know what I mean? It's like if you had a friend, right? He's a good friend of yours, but he was also in the Klan. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's such a great host. You have him over, you know, he fucking, he's really polite, but he drops the N-word. I mean, at some point, you, don't you have to have some sort of a standard? You can't tell me that there's not a better Republican out there. All right? Please tell me. Please tell me there's something, somebody better than this guy. Um, white people. This is, oh, God, we're going to get into the race shit. Are we really going to get into the race shit here? Okay, white people. Oh, Billy Ambassador. I'm sure, I'm sure you addressed the current events at the top of the po this podcast. I, I skipped over most of it, as you may have heard. I just sort of trashed Trump for not having the fucking humanity to trash, you know, some of the dumbest people on the planet, you know, and actually blaming the people that they attack. Also, I, I just don't fucking get it. Um, he goes, I'm pretty moderate. And have the same Ron Paul ideas about government as you seem to have. Uh, sorry about the generalizations. Trying to keep it tight. Yeah, dude, I don't even know what the fuck I believe anymore. He said, I watch my Facebook feed all day denounce white people. All right, first of all, why would you go on a Facebook feed? Are you trying to depress yourself? Are you trying to make yourself upset? Why would you go on there? What did you do next? Did you go on Twitter and look up hashtag white people so you can infuriate yourself more and get an even more... Um, like delusional view of what the population is like, you know, I don't know. I mean, if you watched all that shit about the Klansmen, you'd think that every white person was in the Klan. I mean, it's just, I don't know. Anyways, plowing ahead here. Uh, he says, uh, I look white, but I'm first generation American with my parents coming from Italy. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're Italian. Okay, I get it. All right. My policy on making general statements about entire races is I don't. In stereotypes, sure, white people love things like jarred jams, but in criticism, I never say white people or black people because if history has taught us anything, it's the dumbest thing you, period. <laughs> I think you meant to say the dumbest thing you can do. 
He goes, I'm tired of it. All day, white people this, white people that. I voted for Barack the first time. I hate Nazis, and it's fucking pathetic that I have to say that out loud. I think Trump is a cunt. I hated Hillary. I don't wish for the South to rise again. I'm not offended as a white person. I'm just tired of the laziness of it. Am I way off here? Uh... Look, I know what you're saying, but dude, it's like, is this the worst thing you have to deal with? You got to expect people in a highly emotional state. All right. Such as this, you know, when you're in a highly emotional state, you, you're going to say stuff in a way that you wouldn't if you were a little more relaxed. And then secondly, if you're going to fucking go on a Facebook feed and get upset, I don't have any sympathy for you. Like, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a Facebook feed. There's no, the qualifications to comment on Facebook is you have to be smart enough to sign up for Facebook. That's it. So that's what, you, it's not a think tank. It's not a TED talk, which even those things, I'm starting to think of just a fucking bunch of snake oil salesmen. Everybody acting like something fucking amazing is happening, you know, because somebody's up there with a laser pointer talking about the future. Um, yeah, I mean, all right. I, I understand what you're saying. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. There are times where I'll see, like, these people being applauded for shit that they're saying. And when I'm listening to what they're saying, it's like, if you took out white people there and then you inserted black people like that and that person was white, they would be in trouble. However, however, you do have to take it with a grain of fucking salt because of the great fucking life that you have. All right? And um, I don't know. I, I think he should maybe try. I would try to listen more to what the overall point is rather than wasting time being offended. You know, I'm a white guy. My fucking life is great. You know? I can pretty much go wherever the fuck I want to go. I go down to the mall. I buy a T-shirt. Nobody fucks with me. Right? I'm not saying it's easy. But I mean, compared to what other people, compared to what other people fucking have, I guess this is the best, you know, this is the inside lane, you know, I could fucking look the other way, but there's definitely days, I'll, I'll say this, there's definitely days that, you know, non-white people say some shit or like, you know, women will say stuff about men being like, that's, is so fucking overtly fucking sexist. And not only are you not being called out on it, you're being applauded for it. Like you're brave. And what you're saying is just as fucking ignorant as what the fuck you're doing. However... At the end of it, you kind of got to be like, well, because of what's happening, they're so fucking pissed. Like, I, I give it a little bit. Like, I just I give it a little, depending on my mood, um, I do that. But, um, all right, you know what the honest thing is? Is if I'm sitting there and the person who isn't white says it, I'll get into a debate with them, all right? But if I'm with all white people and they're complaining about it, I'll tell them to shut the fuck up. I think I'm just a contrarian. It all depends. Um, I don't fucking know. But all I do, all I know is after watching all that fucking horrible shit. Yeah, um, I just think, you know, uh, there's, there's a certain level of empathy that uh, you should try to tap into. Try to put yourself in other people's positions a little bit more. And um, I don't know, I guess to try to compensate for the astounding level of fucking ignorance that's out there. I guess you got to try to make yourself an even better person or somehow, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you because I'll be honest with you is when all people go, Hey, I'm not in a fucking, um, <clears throat> I'm not in the clan. I'm not a Nazi guy. I'm not, I don't belong to a hate group, blah, 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 and all that shit. Everybody has their fucking issues. And when you're a comedian, it's like you're running for office. It's like you run this campaign that never fucking stops. And you're meeting people like I was just in Red Bank, New Jersey. Now I'm in Tarrytown. Now I'm going to go to fucking LA you know, the end of the month, I'm going to be in Boston and New Hampshire. Then I'm going to be in Mississippi and Alabama. Um, am I really promoting my upcoming dates, talking about racism? Look at me. Next thing, I should have Bobby Flay reading this. Um, <clears throat> but the point is, as I'm going to meet all these fucking people. And um, I don't know. I got to be honest with you. Everywhere I go, no matter where I'm at, when I'm in a room and it's just all white guys of a certain age my generation and older you can literally take a fucking i swear to god like one of those sands of time timers and just go okay when is the n-word coming i'm trying to remember 
I'm trying to remember the last time that, you know, it doesn't happen every time, but I go in there, I literally start having anxiety going, oh God, you know, I look around and what I'm doing is I'm judging too. And I'm like, when's it coming? Someone's going to fucking say it or someone's going to say something a little borderline. Um, and it's depressing. Like I was hanging, uh, recently on a road gig and it was all white dudes in there and Mayweather accused McGregor of saying something racist and McGregor's going, ah, you know, I didn't fucking say anything racist, but blah, 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 and all this type of shit, right? And then this random white guy is watching it. He goes, yeah, man, what the, what's the big deal? He's like, this guy's an N-word and that guy's whitey. I mean, it's a fight. Who gives a fuck what you say? And I'm just, I'm just thinking in my head, like, dude, they're not saying he said that. Like, like, but that is like, that's how his fucking brain processed that information. And it's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's so, fu- it's depressing. Because you know what it is? Everybody thinks they're smart. And everybody thinks they have it figured out. You know what I mean? Think about, when is the last time you, I mean, sometimes your conscious gets to you, but does your brain really ever say, like, uh, I mean, it takes a lot to fucking admit that you're wrong. Regardless of color, sex, or anything, they'd be like, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. I was wrong. I, you know, I now realize how fucking ignorant. That, that takes a and to truly mean it. Not to just get on the good side of your wife again so she'll bang you, right? To truly fucking sincerely mean it and then try to make a change. It takes a fucking lot. And uh, for anybody. So, I don't know. So, I've gone through things like, you know, if somebody does says that, what do I do? Do I fucking confront them? Do I get into the fucking debate? I've tried every fucking technique. Do I get up and walk out? Every fucking technique. Nothing works. Nothing fucking works. Um, and it's depressing. So I try to avoid that social situation. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll do in the future. Maybe that's what I'll do in the future. Um, anyways. That was like a time where the, I don't remember where the fuck I was when I was in, I was in Durham, North Carolina. And that fucking guy goes, you know, Bill, I like you, you know, you're a good person, you know, you know, Bill, he goes, I like meeting good people. And I was like, oh God, here it comes. I like meeting good people. He's, he's testing the waters. He's sticking his toe in, you know, Christian, good Christian people, white people. And then boom, the fucking N word comes. So that guy headed off at the pass. He said, you know, Bill, I, I, I like meeting good people. And I was just like, oh, yeah, do you? You know, I like meeting bad people. Who the fuck doesn't like meeting good people? And then he, then he shut up. Then he shut up. And then he got really mad at me, you know, when I was talking about, you know, I don't know, like the Middle East or something like that. And I was just going like, dude, they, you know, they're like us. You know what I mean? They got a couple of crazy fucking leaders. And then everybody else is a bunch of you and me walking around there trying to get a sandwich you know, you and I were trying to get the fucking uh, the NBA package and they're trying to whatever fucking sport. What, what sport are they into over there? Soccer, right? Everybody's into the fucking soccer. Um, anyways, so, yeah, I don't know. I understand, you know, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't I don't I don't have any fucking answers. I don't fucking know.